Miss <laughs> <laughs> Francis, how are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this post. So, wonderful Spartans, this is an early morning post. So, I, basically, the best thing for me to get my, the best time for me to get things done, to get my videos done, or to get anything that really requires, you know, a lot of brain work is in the morning. So, it's best for me to, to just do it in the morning. And then, you know, just get on with the rest of my day. So, Spartans, thank you very much for those of you who have subscribed. Like, follow, comment, tag, share, save to favorites. And I'll be bringing you even better content daily. So, thank you very much, guys. I am very, very grateful. So guys, the reason why I woke up early, well, I always wake up early anyway, apart from that one day that I overslept, I was so lucky that day, I don't know what happened. But anyway, I woke up early to give you this video, very, very important video. This video is about charities. So to my mind, the whole idea of charity is for people... I mean, it's become trendy, you know, over the decades. But my idea of charity was that it's supposed to be a place that is a place with stuff that's affordable and easily available for people, you know, under certain circumstances. I don't want to say down and out, but my understanding is basically it was just a place where things were easily available and made cheaply available for other people, you know, to come and buy. Yeah? That was just my understanding of charity shops. So, you don't really have that much money. You need to get something. You could just pop into a charity shop to get something. Hmm? Mostly, the things in the charity shop are things that have already been used. Because people donate their things worn unworn you know new stuff unused stuff people that don't want to throw their stuff away they donate their things to charity shop that used to be my understanding of what charity shops are okay so my understanding is that when you go to a charity shop things should be affordable enough for everybody to be able to buy those things I, I am sharing my understanding, what my understanding of charity shops is with you. If you have a different understanding, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Because when I go into charity shops and I see that the goods in the charity shop are what I call overpriced or too expensive... I feel that they they might be missing the point of the service or what charity shops are supposed to do. You know, the service that charity shops are supposed to provide. You cannot price your items the same as branded items in high streets in high street shops or stores. You cannot do that. I don't know who the Minister for Charities is, but I am speaking directly to that person. I actually wanted to Google, you know, the Minister for Charities, whoever this person is, whoever the person is that's in charge of charity before actually doing the video so that I could actually call them by name. This is a serious post. Items in charity shop should not be the same price as brand new items that you would find in a high street shop, a high street store, you know, or online. To me, that totally defeats the idea of charity shop. If I go into a charity shop and I cannot afford to buy anything, 
what is the point of the charity shop? I thought the whole point is that people donate things to the charity shop so that other people, maybe you don't have enough money, you're a student, you know, you're a traveler, you know, somebody who's on the fringes of society, you need to go in, get your outfit, I don't know, for £10, £20, £20 max, you should be able to buy a whole outfit in a charity shop for £20. Yes! Even in this day and age, ideally you should. Hmm? I go. I have been doing this thing for years because I just love it. Regardless of whether I'm working, regardless of whether I'm not working, whether I have money, I don't have money. I always go into charity shops because I love it. I love the idea that when you go into charity shops, you can find stuff that is different stuff that is unusual, stuff that is quirky, you know. And like I said, you can actually find new stuff as well. So many charities actually stock new items as well. But the whole idea of charity shops is that they should be affordable. Whatever it is they're stocking, whatever it is they're carrying, even if they decide to eventually carry their own brands and make new merchandise, the whole idea of charity shops is that shopping in charity shop should be affordable. Triad is too expensive. Crisis is too expensive. That place that I went to in Brent Cross, the charity marketplace, it is too expensive. Guys, you can go to these places yourself to go and have a look. Yes, they have so many beautiful things on display. But the reason why their stock is not moving is because it's too expensive. Hmm? That example also applies to ordinary shops. Ordinary shops who just decide to keep their prices so high. They just get stuck with all of their merchandise and all of their stock because and all of their stock because they refuse to be flexible on pricing. So they would rather just keep this stock for decades, you know, just keep it, keep it, keep it rather than reduce the price, sell it and get rid of all of their old stock. God, please help me out. Please further my understanding. Please forgive me for my sins because I am exhausted in this environment. Eh? Eh? I'm exhausted in this environment. Environment. I don't know whether they are the kind of people who who throw abuse at dead body. I really don't know the kind of people that they are. But God, I am praying that you take me from this environment because I just don't understand them. I have even reached a point whereby I'm not even interested. When they start shouting, they start screaming. I'm actually, it's actually gotten to the, that point where I don't, I don't even care when they start screaming or shouting. That is how life is. When you get to a point where you have experienced something for so long, you kind of get to the point where you don't even care anymore. Yeah. You know, like all these people that scream, scream, scream. They scream relentlessly all day. The day that something is really wrong with them, that they scream, none of us will answer. Nobody here will answer because we're so used to hearing them scream. When it, it heaven forbid, a day will come when they actually need help. People no go answer because the way they scream in this environment, People are, people get to the point where they not even people don't even bat an eyelid when people scream anymore. It's getting to that point. So anyway, the bicycles that you guys were putting in front of your shop, I don't know whether they added to the decoration of your shop window. But anyway, I have said it to the minister that is in charge of charities charitable organizations and the things that happen within charities please reduce the pricing hmm? reduce this trend of price hiking within charity shops so that we seasoned charity shop buyers charity shop shoppers can actually go into charity shops comfortably and buy whatever we want to buy the prices 
<clears throat> let me go back let me actually go back again back in the day it used to be when you went to places like maybe red cross charity shops you know in certain areas maybe like kensington or swiss cottage places like that maybe the prices would be a little bit higher than what you would maybe see in stockwell or somewhere else that's just considering the area considering the postcodes so they would add on you know a, a, a few pennies here and there knowing that it was a highbrow area the people could actually afford to pay those prices but how can you put a charity shop in kilburn in northwest london and then when you go into the charity shop you'll be seeing the prices this one will be 50 pounds 60 pounds 70 pounds as if you're in tk max no it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work being confident is not being bullshit being confident is not being arrogant i am just telling you the truth guys you know the homeless people the homeless people they rely on charity shop yeah they didn't ask me to speak for them i'm just giving you guys example homeless people they rely on charity shop people who don't have a job so many of them rely on charity shops even some of the people whose swag is so on point you'll be shocked they do all their shopping in charity shop there's so many kinds of people in the world that maybe you watching this video you don't know about there's so many people who live on the fringes of society they manage their life in a certain way there's so many people who wouldn't even call themselves down and out but they do their shopping on a regular basis from charity shop they're not going to come and tell you their secrets yeah so many people students all kind of people travelers so if you make the items in the charity shop you go you see a little t-shirt a little cute t-shirt that you like in charity shop they tell you 35 pounds guys I know the generation that I'm from. I have to tell you the truth. Charity shops, certain charity shops, they're overpricing. They are overpricing and they cannot actually give us the reason for their overpricing because after all, they're still charity shops. They're not paying their staff. So why, why, why are their goods so overpriced? Anyway, I have taken this I have taken this to the highest echelon. I have taken this right to the top, to the person who is in charge. Please, to the person who is in charge of charities. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please regulate their pricing. Regulate the pricing within charity shops. There should be, there should be umbrella pricing. Yes. There should be some sort of regulation. You cannot have charity shops pricing items as if they are designer goods. Even if they are designer goods. They've actually reminded me of that point. Another reason why charity shops used to be so popular in my day, you know, when I was a young girl, is because you could actually go to the charity shops and buy designer goods, you know, for peanuts, you know, for no money at all. That's one of another reasons why, that's one of the reasons why charity shops used to be so, so popular. Because if you love your branded names and you love your branded goods, you know that the it girls, the it girls, they have money, they don't care. You know that when they donate their things to charity, you, you go and get your, I don't know, your LK Bennett or whatever designer it is you were after. Not now that they're making ordinary charity shops so expensive. Expensive for what? Anyway, that's this video. I am telling you guys the truth. The truth as I see it. If you, if you support what I'm saying, because this is for people who actually support what I'm saying. If you don't want to support what I'm saying on this particular issue... I don't want to hear why you don't support it. 
But if you support what I'm saying, please do your bit. Do your bit. Get involved. If you're somebody who only shops charity, number one, I give you, I give you, I was going to give you thumbs up and then I gave you my 10 fingers. Mm -hmm. If you're somebody who shops only charity, hey, this is for you. If you're somebody who has a closet full of clothes, who has decided you're not going to buy the whole of this year. You have my respect. You have my respect because I tried that. I tried that one time to say to myself, I wasn't going to buy anything new. The moment you say you're not going to buy anything new, within five seconds, you've gone to buy something else just because of the way that we're conditioned. That's why sometimes it's good not to even say anything, maybe even write it. Yeah, but I'm still working on myself and I'm still, you know, working on my shopping habits. So, guys, if you are somebody like me who agrees that charity shops, charity shop goods should be within charitable prices, as in, you know, peanuts next to nothing, affordable, so that so that the goods will just move on their part, so that the things will just move. Yeah, you don't want people coming to just dump things in in front of your shop. That's another thing. Some people, you package the thing nicely, you go and put it in the charity shop. Some somebody, some of these people who don't care about anybody else, some of them don't even care about themselves anyway. So why are they? How are they going to care about other people? They will just come. They will rummage through it. Some people, just to be spiteful, they will just kick. They will just kick the bag. They will scatter the goods, fling them all over the place. Everything upbringing, it comes from the home. The way that you behave outside, it comes from the home. Whether you like it or you, you don't like it. Any display, any behavior that you display outside, it comes from the home. So, that is it. I think I'm going to end this video here, guys. I'm looking at the timer so that it will not take too long to upload. I love you guys. I love you so, so much to my Spartans. Thank you, guys. You guys keep me... You, keep, you guys, you keep me in business. You keep me doing this thing. Because if I follow events, certain events, if I follow certain things that happen, obviously... I will not make any content. I will not make, I will not do any videos, you know, because they would make me succumb to their pressure. But hey, I just decide to ignore them and keep on doing what I have been doing even from day one. So if you want to support me, if you want me to bring you more truth giving content, more life changing content, please increase my numbers, increase my views. Help me make sure that I get my views because, you know, they have been blocking my views for ages. That stops now. Just help me retain what is mine, what I work for. I work for my views. I should get my views. Yeah. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not hurting anybody at all. Now, love. Now, person why I love. I know kill person. Even so, if that person say, make I know love, I'm again... So I hands off. Anytime I hands off, the person will come back again because they are using the drama. They are using the drama. I'm not even beefing with them. They are using the drama. They are using the katakata to make more money for themselves. Guys, the reason why I became a global influencer is because whatever it is I'm telling you guys, I know I can tell you in a nutshell. I should be able... Whatever it is, I come feeling so impassioned about to tell you guys i should be able to tell you in a nutshell and i have told you in a nutshell now love that person why i love i know kill no bugger i know kill no thomas now now love why i love person the person won't carry me do yeah yeah me i say i know agree why because you don't tell where people do me that thing until the points where i decide with me and my God, I say, I know go agree, make another person do me, yeah, yeah. 
where my heart is concerned. Yes, that was the declaration I made to my God. And I stand by it up until today. So, anybody that is going around spreading rumors that I am a killer, it seems to me, you the person spreading the rumors, it seems to me that you're more of a killer. That you actually might be the killer. Eh? Maybe there's something that you want to tell us. Eh? So guys, I remember where I started this video. I started this video on charity shops. Guys, if you want to protest, if you want to protest, you know how to protest. If you want to make a complaint, you know how to make a complaint. Guys, the whole idea of charity shops is that their items, their goods, whatever it is they are stocking, whatever it is they are offering should be affordable. Crisis, you are overpriced. Yeah? Triad, you are overpriced. Hmm? What's this other place again? Charity supermarket, you are overpriced. There's some other ones as well. They're overpriced. But the ones that I have called, they are definitely overpriced and they need to do something about their pricing so that people would actually, they need to get feet. They need to get feet in the door. Yeah? They need that human traffic. They need that human traffic. Because the world is changing. There's so many wars all over the world. Yeah. These are all of the functions of charity shop. Now that they're now that they're hiking their prices so high, who is going to buy their goods? How many people do you know on an ordinary day that are going to go into charity shop to buy shoe uh, priced hundred pounds, hundred and fifty? No, the ordinary person is not going to do that. The ordinary person is going to say, instead of paying £50 for a top or trousers or whatever at the charity shop, why can't I just go to TK Maxx, River Island, or any of these other shops? Yeah. Why? People are buying all this throwaway. People are buying all this throwaway. Sh they're buying all this throwaway fashion on apps like Timu, and all these other apps. Sorry guys, I haven't been on Timu, but I know that it's just like the, all the other apps. She in, you know, you've got all this affordable fashion. Some people call it throwaway fashion because it's so affordable. People don't even think twice about buying it. Instead of giving us more quality items made from nicer fabrics, you know, some decent cotton at affordable prices. They prefer to give us all of this throwaway fashion that inevitably ends up in landfill and then they, they start complaining about the environment when they actually know what they can do about it. Anyway, I have spoken truth to power. I have spoken truth to power. Only God knows what side of my anatomy they will be talking about today. Thank you for watching us, Spartans. Please increase my numbers. Mm? If we could have over 300 people subscribing every day, it would be a beautiful thing. It would be a really wonderful thing so that we could actually stop messing about and actually talk about some, some juicy items, you know, get into the meat of it. Let's actually get into the meat and veg of, of what it is we want to talk about in, instead of faffing around and pretending like we don't know what time it is. We know what we want to talk about. I know what I want to talk about. Just give me the numbers and I will talk to you about anything that I want to talk to you about. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button so you can see more videos like this. Thank you.